I had written a book to my kids during my last deployment, and I was a platoon chief at the time, and I had 22 other guys that I was responsible for bringing them home and making good decisions out there in Afghanistan. And and during that deployment, uh, we, we we had an epic combat deployment. Every time we went out the door and we went out 40 sometimes, we we saw the enemy and we didn't shake hands with him and we shot at him and he shot at us and and we survived after six months. But I, I had tried to write what it was like to be there. What was it like to be a warrior leading men in combat to my kids? Because I really didn't know if I was going to return from every mission. And one mission in particular, uh, we had uh, we'd been so successful, we, we thought we were cool. And we had forgot to plan in detail that is required to be successful in combat, and we didn't. And we planned this mission looking at a flat map and didn't realize that it was terrible mountainous terrain. Like we dropped the ball. And uh, we inserted about four miles from the target area, and it took us around seven hours to walk four miles because we were in a firefight the whole time. And we took over the target area and found out that we couldn't maintain the area or the building that we were supposed to. So we had to make ourselves tactically disadvantaged by moving out away from protection into the middle of a valley and we tried to do that and find found a building and maintained it throughout the day it led to the what happened at night is we uh, were we dropped our guard like we'd won the battle of life that day and one of the worst things you can do until things are over is kind of let your guard down whether you're in business or working out at the gym or athletics, I see it everywhere now, but I saw it at that moment. I didn't pay attention at the moment. So we, we let our guard down, and the enemy within five minutes knew we had dropped the ball, and we got hit by a massive attack, RPGs and machine guns and bullets, and I had gotten blown up into a room uh, about 10 foot in the air. An RPG hit me, and pushed me through the air into into a space in a room. And I remember laying on the ground mentally not wanting to play anymore. Like I I felt like I was dead. I didn't feel any pain. I'm like, there's no reason why I shouldn't feel pain. I, sh- I should. I'm like, oh, this is what it's like to die. And mentally I started losing it. And uh, the only thing that brought me back in my brain was my wife, Stacy, uh, grabbing my face In my thought pattern, she grabbed my face and said, Tom, don't fear dying. It makes you weak. I want you to get up and fight until you're dead. And that's what I did. And, you know, whether that's drug-induced or whatever, I don't think we were on drugs, but that's really what sat me up. And then I rallied, and I rallied by doing the only thing I knew to do was to fight, not make sense of it, keep fighting, and I couldn't find my guys at first, and I couldn't even move out of the room. I in, I had to kill a sniper that had me pinned down and uh, shot him at around 630 yards, which to me was the scariest thing because he could see me. He'd shot at me and hit my helmet. And so we were in a back and forth uh, and shot, shots fired, and I ended up getting him. And then I had to get my men, and my men were – Believing the bullshit too, they thought that it was over uh, because we couldn't move, and nothing worse in life than the feeling that you can't do anything about it. And uh, come to find out, you can. You can do simple shit. So I, I just reengaged them. Hey, we're gonna fight till we're dead. Everybody okay with that? We're not gonna sit here and trying to make sense of it. We're just gonna keep fighting. And forty-five minute firefight ends uh, with us running out of ammo. And we called in a jet that uh, dropped some bombs out in the enemy space and killed all of them, and we survived. And that 45-minute period of time makes me very clear that humans are capable of so, so much more. And I don't recommend everybody going into combat to experience it. I recommend <laughs> doing hard things on a day-to-day basis so that your mind can take over. 